In Jude 21, it says, keep yourselves in the love of God. Well, this means do not go outside of that. Literally anchor yourself to the love of God. And do not allow yourself to sway far from that proven, wonderful way to live. Your thoughts, your words, and your actions are influenced by God's love. Now, there are many things in the outer, meaning outside of ourselves, things that we face and see and deal with on a daily basis that um, may, if we're truthful, influence us. But it's not always in a positive way, is it? Sometimes we want to react in anger. We want to say things in angry words and actions. But for today, I ask you to choose God's love to be the active influence in your life. Allow God's love to influence the thoughts that you think, and therefore hold only positive and faith-filled thoughts as you turn your attention away from the negative appearance and focus on the underlying good. Allow God's love to influence the words that you speak and write your communication with others is devoted to the establishment of harmony and understanding and cooperation. The words you use encourage others and, and they give the assurance of your prayerful support. Allow God's love to influence your actions. Be inspired to act wisely and to use your good judgment, guided by God's love in every situation. Your activities will be filled with peace. They'll be orderly. They'll be satisfying to you and to everyone else that you touch. God's love is the active influence in your life. And if you want to live in heaven, on earth... This is the way, the key that opens up the door.